This two minute EdTech tip is all about the iPad app Poplet. The first thing I'm going to do when I open Poplet is I'm going to choose Make New Poplet. I'm going to name my Poplet. And I'm going to choose a background color for my Poplet. Right away, a Popple appears. The rectangles in Poplet are known as Popples. When I click on the Popple, I can move it around with one finger. I can also go ahead and choose uh, a text to put in my Popple. So I'm going to call this one Apples. If I want to change the size of my text, I'm going to click on the larger gray T over on the right side, and it's going to make it bigger. Now, I can move my, my, my title popple to the top, and then I can grab the gray circle at the bottom to make a new popple. Once I create a new popple, I'm going to go ahead and add an image to this one. I can resize it using the triangles in the corners. I'm going to choose the image, I'm going to open library, and I'm going to choose something I already have on my iPad. When I tap off of the popple, the options disappear. I'm going to make a second popple connected to the first one, and this time I'm going to draw an, a picture of an apple. I can even choose different colors by clicking on the pencil. I can click off of the popple and the options disappear. I can also choose the X if I need that popple to disappear. I can connect the two popples by dragging the gray circle across. Once I'm finished with my poplet, I'm going to zoom out so I can see all of the popples. And the easiest way to save this is to take a screenshot and it will save your poplet to your camera roll. This two minute EdTech tip has been about poplet.